What up, y'all? Welcome to the video. As y'all coming in, y'all smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you ain't already subscribed. Now, Keith Thurman been making his rounds or whatever. He did a little interview with Ellie Setback and he's been doing like, you know, he's been moving around a little bit, right? Because he brought up some things. Well, in this, in this interview, right in the beginning, it's a 13-minute interview. Keith Thurman said some wild things, man. And I was just like, huh? So I'm going to let y'all hear it for y'all self, and then we're going to talk about it. So listen. Life, you know, and really I respect a, a lot of people. I respect Errol, you know, uh, because in my eyes, we live the same life, you know. He was an Olympian. I strive for the Olympics, you know. And now, and now he is unified beyond my unification. The same thing that I was trying to do, but injuries held me back, which actually allowed him to finessely get those titles, right? And then- Stop it right there. Everything he, he just said, that I just let y'all listen to, was just pure delusionalness. <laughs> yes, I just made the word, I just made the word up. Pure delusionalness. This boy is delusional, man. That, 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 I, I almost said a curse word. That mess sounded so stupid, man. He said that him and Earl Spence lived the same life. And then he continued on to name everything that make them have a different life. So I, I'm like, uh-huh. It, it kind of baffled me a little bit. So I'm going to let y'all hear it one more time, man, because it's just the, the delusionness. It's just crazy, man. <laughs> By beyond my unification, you know, he was an Olympian. I strive for the Olympics, you know, and now and now he is unified beyond my unification. The same thing that I was trying to do, but injuries held me back. How's how's that the same life? How's that the same life, bro? He said. Earl Spence was unified beyond my what I was trying to do. So I did the same life, bro. He did more than you in life. If that's what if we compare life, <laughs> he did more than you in life. If that's the case, this dude is crazy, man. Beyond my unification, just, he was an Olympian. I strive for this nigga said. He was an Olympian. <laughs> I strive to be in the Olympics. But somehow we live the same life in my eyes. Like, what? You, you didn't make it. He did everything you couldn't do. What are we talking about? How is that the same life if he did what you could do, bro? <laughs> what you talking about, bro? He surpassed you, bro. You got the big head. And you and you fell off the high horse. It was what it was. You try to play. You try to play the high horse on. You know, it's just like to me. It's just almost like it's almost like the streets. Like you, you try. You got your nice car first. You jumped out first. Not because you know you you was ahead of him. You was just in the game before him, and you did what you did. And then he came through and he did it bigger. And now at the end of the day, you that old head that looking at that young guy. We had the same life, bro. Nigga, you ain't buy this, nigga. You ain't you did this, you ain't did this, and you ain't did that. So we ain't live the same. What are you talking about? I'm bigger than you and I did more than you, bro. You like a small fight of me now. So now. The only way you're going to get a big check is if I say so. So that what position Earl Smith's in, man. He almost got choked. This is your career. This Earl Smith hand. This Earl Smith's hand. And this your career. This sanitizer bottle. And it's empty. You see that little bit, little drip drop? This your career. This Earl. He just dangling your career. What is we talking about right now, bro? This is not the same. You know, and now, and now he 
is unified beyond my unification. The same thing that I was trying. So how is that? They said the same. It's it's crazy to me, right? I'm gonna let it play out. Do but injuries held me back. You said actually, injuries held him back. It's crazy to me that the injuries Earl Spence sustained and probably still going through somehow didn't hinder him but the injuries you had which were less than what he had hindered you it's, it's just, i just can't fathom that in my head bro i'm just thinking about it like he flew out of ferrari you had bone spurs but he got all the bills he ain't got nothing and there's something else going on in there, man. It's just this what it is, folks. You got a little taste of it, and your tummy got full. Earl Spence got a little taste of it. He wanted more. So he went, he kept going, man. It's just like real life, man. Outside of boxing, man. Some guys get a little bit, and then that's it. That's all they want. Some want more. That's how it is. And that's key Thurman for you, man. So... You know what I'm saying? Um, he looked to be in shape, though. I say that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, I'm not sure how how much a shape he in, but just looking at him, he ain't fat. I say that he ain't fat. He say he been training since December. He say him and the Earl Spence fight still possible. These fights still possible. I mean, he might have a point on it. I think it's still possible. I think if if Bud duck Earl Spence again, then it's definitely going to happen. You know what I'm saying? He right there on standby, whatever. He, he looked to be in shape for sure. But the, do he want to tune up? Because he, he, he tuned Mr. Tune Up himself too. Him and Bud both love tune ups. So that's one thing. If anything, y'all are like. <laughs> if anybody on that tip, if anybody like you and Bud love tune ups, and both of y'all are duck. So it's. If anybody, you should be comparing yourself to him. I would think. But, you know. I think it could happen, though. You know, it's definitely possible. But at the end of the day, man, uh, this dude definitely delusional at the same time. He like. He's still, like, off a little bit. Like, he's still, like. It is what it is. That's Keith Thurman for you. You know what I'm saying? After all these years, as a fan, I would still like to see Earl Spence step on Keith Thurman. But I, I would like to see Bud get his eye popped out first. But he seems to want to keep his eye. So it's just, we don't know, man. We'll see. That's all I can say, man. I, I don't have no predictions or none of that. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Which one gonna happen first? If Bud actually gonna sign a contract, or I don't know, man. <laughs> I just don't know. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of Bud, the duck, we gonna talk about him next. So y'all tune in for that. But yeah, man, keep Thurman said that him and Earl Spence or are alike. I mean, live the same lives, which I don't know how that. <laughs> how, that, how that's to be, but well, that's Keith Thurman for you, man. He said they live the same life, but then he continued to explain every way different how they life went. So I don't know, man. Y'all hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe already, man. I'm out, child. Deuce.